Hey everyone, welcome back to Indie Buffet. Today we're looking at Forska by Todd Fermonsky. I think I said that correctly. This is an exploration game. Click on the landscape to move to that point. Click on the size of the screen to turn in place. Click on the bottom of the screen to take small steps. Click in the lower corners to turn directly around. Press spacebar have time to have time pass. Press H key to see this message again. And escape to quit. So this is an exploration game. I forgot the uh, space bar. So here we are. We're moving. We're going to let some some time pass. It's almost like pastels. I like this 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 waviness, these trees. And all of this is is just a small exploration game. I wouldn't mind some music, some maybe ethereal flute in the background. We find ourselves here, and we're going to turn around onto a bay. It is procedurally generated. We can also find portals to different worlds. Let's see if the and you can see the the sun rising. It's actually really nice this this light effect that we have. We find ourselves in some open plains. Each portal seems to be different, sending us to a different world. And that's really the point of the game is just exploring and, and taking your time and relaxing. And all around us is the inescapable fields. There are also supposed to be figures that we might find here. And we'll know a portal when we see one because they glow an intense purple. And we'll see it for some ways away, especially when we hit the night. Looks like the ruins of a lost civilization. And we'll find these scattered every once in a while. And we really can't interact with the world. We really can't do much except walk and explore. And we'll try to find a portal. I'll take a small walk. And we can move in leaps and bounds. Our small little steps. No adversarial elements to the game, which may appeal to some and may not appeal to others. I, I understand both. We can find ourselves in the middle of a lake. It almost looks like the trees are forming grand animals off to the corners of our vision. Let's see if we can get ourselves to the ocean and slowly pass the time away into cold, unapproachable night. We'll just continue to move forward until we find another continent. And hopefully we'll find a, a, a teleporter or a portal, I guess you could call either one. We'll just keep moving. And it took me quite a while to traverse the field the last time I tried. I see very little on the horizon. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. New land. Moving very slowly up a mountain. And we'll see what we see on the edge. And it's peaceful. Ooh. Did you guys see that? Strange rock-like thing. Which brings us back to the water. It wasn't a portal, as far as I know. I've only seen one in my, my attempts at this game. But I hope that you guys give this a try and and tell me what you find. What strange worlds that you uncover. What figures you see in the darkness at night. And the colors are nice. Like I said, very much watercolor, pastel. Not intrusive, very soft, very pretty. I'd still very much like to find a portal to show you all. Aha, there one is. Like I said, you can we can see it in the distance. It 
a little too far. Ah, there are two. Alright, so we have found a portal. And we are going to go inside. Twirled one, two, three, four, nine, five. And here we are, in a new world. Where the ground is a bright red as we move away. And it almost looks like our own world, but it's not our world. It's a new world. Where the trees glow. Let's see what the day looks like. Bright. Very bright. And again, I I'd like to see some music in this. Because as nice as it is to just explore, it gets a little dull when uh, you can't chill out and let the music. And here comes the night in soft purple hues. I wonder what that is up ahead. You guys see it too, right? That light glowing. It almost looks like there's a figure up ahead. Perhaps a campfire. What is this? Old, his face is fair and fresh as sea. His limbs are cast in beauty's mold. And dearly he loves me. One morn we strolled on our dry walk, our quiet house. All full in view. And held in such indeterminate talk as we were wont to do. My thoughts on former pleasures ran. I thought of Kill's delightful shore. My pleasant home when spring began a long, long year before. So we have found like an obelisk with a poem on it. An artifact perhaps of a, a long gone situation. We find more light in another one of these. Through absent long, these forms of beauty have not been to me as, in, as a landscape to a blind man's eyes, but oft in lonely rooms in mid the din. So we find ourselves another one of these obelisks. And perhaps it's all we'll find in this empty world. Ooh, we see another light. Let's see if we can get get there. There it is. Indeed. Let's, let's. Very large tree. That is a bright light. What is this? What is this? Do we have found ourselves in a glowing area within the trees. There's one more over here. I have no idea what that was. Ah, oh, we're back. Oh, it's a person. That's a little creepy. Let's see if we can get a better, better view. It is a person. It's like a mage of, of some kind. It's holding a loft. Some kind of walking stick. So guys, you let me know what you've discovered in this game. And uh, we'll talk about it then. As always, thanks for watching.